Hello everybody, my name is Kanoe Manika, and welcome back to the unboxing, where today we are going back into the wide world of One Piece for another SH Figure Arts review, doing a little bit of catch-up on my end with a little bit of an unboxing of the SH Figure Arts Sanji from the Raid on Onigashima. Uh, yeah, Sanji's fun, not my favorite One Piece character, uh, but... I am trying to collect the whole crew uh, as they slowly release them, hopefully. So, this is where I've got to go next. I got to get Sanji. I got to get Sanji at some point. Obviously. So, might as well get him now. Um, so, yeah. Front of the box is the same as all the other uh, SHF One Piece figures. We get a window cutout with Sanji, the Raiden on Gashima, written on the side. We get... Uh, we were able to see the figure uh, in all of his glory, a bunch of his faces, a little bit of his fire kick, so on and so forth. We get an image of Sanji, as well as another image of Sanji within the blue here. It's blue on him, I guess. SH Figure Arts, Sanji, right on Nagashima, all the other legally stuff, one piece in the corner. The top has the usual SH Figure Arts quote in the Luffy hat, um, with all of this uh, fucking map stuff. This side shows a bunch of the expressions on the figure, as well as the one Luffy expression that you get. Which is quite fitting. He's very hungry, and then it says Sanji at the bottom. It's all in blue. The other side has SH Figure Arts Sanji, him doing one of his kick poses. Bottom just has Sanji on it. He's smoking. I'm pretty sure it's the same image as on the top. Backside. This is the American release, by the way. Eh, whatever. It has all of him doing a bunch of cool poses. The super action, the super modeling. Sanji Raiden on Nagashima shows you everything that he can do. Yeah. So let's check this fucking out. There we are. Snipped right in and pop it open. Yep. There we go. He's got two of the fire kicks, which is nice to look at. Nice to see. And they're very well done. Some very good fire effects. So let's start getting things out, shall we? Because we got a lot to look at, don't we? So we got hands. Uh, he's got two expressive open hands. I guess this is also able to be used for him to be doing cool poses on the ground. So he can do spinning kicks and whatnot. But, you know, his two open hands. He's got this semi-gripping hand if he wants to have a gripping hand, I guess. Uh, there's nothing he really grips. Well, I mean, he does grip stuff, but nothing in the set that he really grips. So, yeah. Now, on the other hand, he doesn't have a gripping hand, but he has a cigarette hand. Which, I mean, obviously, that's Sanji for ya. He smokes. That's a very well-sculpted, but I would be very careful with that. Because it's hard plastic, and it's very thin and very small, so be careful! Now, looking at the faces, first let's get Luffy's out of the way. He's salivating because he is nice and hungry. This is a very nice expressive Luffy face, and I'm really glad to have it. Um, next up, and part of the reason I'm collecting all of them is so I can get all those Luffy faces, honestly. Uh, next up, it's Sanji with his hard eyes, which is very fitting for his character, his little horny bastard self. Ah. <laughs> Next up, we have him uh, with an angry expression with his uh, cigarette in his mouth. Um, and then he also has a confident smile with the cigarette in his mouth, just on the other side. All of them are very fitting for Sanji. They all look just like him. It's great. And there's <laughs> his uh, face. <laughs> this is very goofy. I'm not sure if it needed to be there, but it's very One Piece have a goofy expression like this. Yeah, that's very One Piece. It also comes with this part. This is like a uh, specialized hand part, I guess. That's also a pocket part. Um, I, I'm not probably not going to use this too much, but it is a nice inclusion given his casual poses. Yeah. And then we have the two fire kicks. You got to replace his legs. And they still have full foot articulation. They still have the ball joint. They still have the... That. They still have a fucking toe bend. <laughs> These are fully articulated feet. Um, 
but they've got these really nicely painted fire effects. Like, oh my god, they're so well done. And like the legs are clear plastic, so you can kind of see the clearness in the uh, painted part, but not super well. And you get two of these, one for each leg. Um, I'm not sure how you can tell which is which. Oh, uh, hmm. Well, I'm his fire, like here. Interesting. Well, I'm his fire going backwards. That's interesting because this one has the toe bend up here. <sighs> Okay, that's interesting. My next step, let's get Sanji out. And again, he's in a full fucking baggie for some reason. I guess that's one way to keep it out of the joints, I guess. Okay. But here we have Sanji. He's fairly fucking tall. Um, like, I mean, figure arts are short generally. But like, yeah, he's pretty tall, all things considered. At least compared to like Luffy and stuff. He's fairly tall. I don't know why I pulled out Iron Man. Uh, okay, so yeah, he's got full range there. His shoulders aren't don't seem to be the greatest. They might have the same Zoro problem. But they're kind of going upward, thankfully, at that joint as well. Oh, there goes his shoulder. All right. Yeah, Zoro, I've come into the problem since opening him uh, previously. That his shoulders are not the greatest design. But thankfully, Sanji doesn't use his arms much. He's a fucking leg boy. And <laughs> I, I think I'm saying he's tall because, like, god damn, look at those legs. Look at those fucking legs. <laughs> they feel long. You know? So now I can go like that and then do a nice spinning kick. He's got, like, a single joint in them, but they're able to get full ranged out. I mean, his design's quite simple, but, like, it's, it is it is Sanji, especially from this arc uh, that I haven't gotten to. But, it, I mean, it feels like Sanji. It's a, an appropriate Sanji attire. Um, not quite the uh, striped look that I'm super used to, but, like, you know, it's, it's a Sanji attire that it feels fitting for his character. Okay, yeah, you can get upward with a Chainsaw Man style joint. Got the Chainsaw Man style, but the rubber gets in the way. Let me do this close. Whenever you have issues with these figures, you want to get close in on the joint before you start doing anything, because then that'll help somewhat fix your problems. Yeah. The rubber overlay is going to be a slight problem. Um... But yeah, this is very much Sanji, and there's that final expression. Just a generic stern face, which does have both eyes, but Willem's covered up by his hair. Fittingly, let me pull that off. Because I want to try getting him in the smoking expression. Uh, give me a sec. There's no other extra heads, thankfully, for him, so you can just do this. There's just extra faces. Fairly tight. I don't want to break anything, so I'm being a bit careful. Because these are these are pricey figures. I mean, they're not hyper pricey, but like they're pricier than say like a Marvel Legend or a Power Rangers Lightning Collection. So I don't want to be too rough with these, because otherwise it would be pretty hard to replace. So yeah, we got his face in, and then you just go shoop a doop, and boom, there he is. Yeah, that's Sanji. Um, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video. He's better than Zoro, I think. I don't know if I like him as much as Luffy. I'll have to figure that out later. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty good figure. I would recommend him, uh, especially for Z for Sanji fans. But man, am I excited for that East Blue Nami. Fuck, dude. Fuck, dude. They're doing a new Nami. They're finally doing a, a fucking woman in the SH Figures One Piece line. In this modern era, at least. I can't believe it took them that long to get a woman in the line. And I guess it was so that your Sanji figure could just be chill, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, 
this has been a fun video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun YouTube stuff. How does... Oh, I guess you just kind of... Whatever. Yeah, be sure to do all that fun YouTube stuff. I guess you gotta remove the entire fucking light, huh? Yeah, you gotta remove the entire light. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know with a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Uh, leave me in the comments what other videos I should do. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.